Create a traffic source. Having created a traffic source, you can use it further in your campaigns. In order to start, click Create Traffic Source in the main menu. Click Choose from Templates button. A pop-up with the list of all templates will appear. Choose the one you need ready and click Submit. All settings are adjusted automatically. Save. Now let's move on to creation of traffic source manually. Let's look into all fields. The first step is traffic source name. Let's say the name is test1. This is a required field. Please also note that you cannot use the same traffic source name twice. You can find your traffic source when creating your campaign and viewing statistics. Track impressions. With this checkbox selected, you can track banner impressions for this traffic source. Please be aware that traffic sources rarely support this option. S2S Postback URL You should fill this field if only your traffic source support S2S Postback. Sbridge transfers a conversion data to the traffic source by sending a request to this link. Please note that the setup of the final link should be handled in Sbridge with Sbridge macros as well. Available macros can be seen by placing the cursor on the link input line. Let's move to advanced settings. The first field is tracking ID. This is a parameter which is used to pass unique click identificator from the traffic source. In case if you need to pass conversions back to the traffic source, this parameter is required. In order to set it up, insert the name of the parameter in the name field. That's how a parameter will be displayed in the campaign link. TES underscore click underscore ID. By way of example, you must also type in value field with a macro taken from the traffic source. A macro will be substituted with the unique click ID value. Contact your traffic source to determine which macro they use to pass the click ID. Let's move on. Cost field. This parameter is used to receive a dynamic value of cost per each click. This value will be used for calculation of your expenses. We're using name cost, value cost. Please remember that not all traffic sources support this feature, nor this setting is mandatory. The next step is token setup. These are the internal parameters of traffic source. You can append them to the campaign link in order to pass the values to AdBridge. You must set up name field for each token. Macros taken from the traffic source should be added to the value field for each token. These macros will be replaced with the real values while click through the campaign link. Let's say our tokens are campaign ID equals campaign ID, source equals source, country equals country. There are two types of tokens, primary and additional. Six primary tokens will be displayed at the statistics and they can be passed further to the author. You're able to create numerous additional tokens. These won't be displayed at the statistics, but they can be passed on to the side of the author. After completing all the fields, let's check our settings and save. All created traffic sources are displayed in the section Manage Traffic Sources.